So this is problem number one in the homework assignment that I gave, give my differential equations class. And I find that's a little challenging because it ends up having a lot of zeros in it. And zeros are weird a lot of the time. You have to think through them a little differently and you have to know what can and can't be zero. I've always wanted, I've always told my class kind of jokingly that I wanted to give an exam that is all zeros because we are so afraid of getting an answer of zero. And when we do, if we feel like we're wrong. Now, trust me, I would never do that to my class, but it is something that we need to get used to. So I'm gonna show you this problem and how to deal with the zeros. Now I'm solving a system of linear differential equations and this is my coefficient matrix A right here. And anytime you have a system of linear differential equations, you do the same thing every time. You find the determinant of A minus lambda I and you want that to be zero. You're finding lambda such that the determinant of that matrix equals zero. So the determinant a minus lambda i is going to be minus three minus lambda, zero, one, minus three minus lambda. And again, I want that determinant to be zero. So I have minus three minus lambda times minus three minus lambda minus zero times one equals zero. There's my characteristic polynomial. That's equal to zero, so I'm left with minus three minus lambda squared equals zero. So to find my eigenvalue, minus three minus lambda equals zero, lambda equals minus three. So there is my eigenvalue. Now there's only one of them, or you can say there's two, but they're equal. So that means right now I'm only going to have one eigenvalue and one eigenvector, and that's what poses the uniqueness to this problem. So let's go ahead and find the eigenvector that corresponds with it. Let's see here. So what I need to do is uh, solve the equation a minus lambda i times y equals the zero vector. So a minus lambda i, as I had found before, well, I know that lambda equals minus three here, so I'm gonna plug minus three into my vector here, or my matrix here. So I end up with minus three minus negative three, zero, one, minus three minus negative three. Now this is where it gets a little freaky for students, is that this whole matrix here is almost all zeros. So you have zero, zero, one, zero, y equals a zero vector. Now the vector y, I guess in this case, my vector is actually v. Um, I'm using y like this y that we have up here, but this is actually my eigenvector. So I'm trying to solve this equation for the vector x, y, that will be my eigenvector in the end. So if I do my augmented matrix, if I want to use my calculator to do reduced row echelon form, I get this vector, just transforming it into this to do the reduced row echelon. Well, it actually is already in reduced row echelon form. If you have a matrix that has a row of zeros, that means the solution to the system is infinitely many, which again is what we want based on this type of problem that we're solving. I can interpret this as one X plus zero Y equals zero. This implies that X has to be zero, but Y can be anything, anything I want, because no matter what it is, that equation is still gonna be true. So let's see, if I make my choice, I'm gonna let uh, V1 X equals zero, Y be one. I mean, you can make Y minus 42, but why would you want to? Just keep it simple, straightforward. Now because we have a double root, we have to still work a little bit harder to get the other part of the linearity principle. So right now I have y1 of t is equal to e to the minus 3t, 0, 1, and the linearity principle requires us to have v, I'm sorry, requires us to have y2, a second linearly independent solution to our system. Because we have the single root, it's just a little different than having other kinds of roots. So what we have to do is solve the problem 
v1 equals a minus lambda i times v2. And then my second vector will pop out. My second linearly independent vector pops out. So I plug everything in. I have 0, 1 equals 0, 0, 1, 0. And v2, I'm just going to say, is little v2, little v1, just to keep track of it. So again, I'm going to write down the augmented matrix 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. It's already in reduced row echelon form. So down here, I get x plus 0, y is now equal to 1. So that forces x to be 1 in this case, and y can be anything. You can choose y to be 1. In this case, y can be 0. Now up here, y technically can't be anything. y cannot be 0. And why is that? Because if y is 0, I have the 0 vector here. And no eigenvector can be the 0 vector. So I have to choose something that's non-zero in for the y value there. But down here, since I have already a standard value for x and it's non-zero, y could be 0 if you wanted it to be. Um, I don't know. I'm going to let y equal 1. So my v2 is going to equal 1, 1. Now, no matter what you choose for y, v2 and v1 are going to be linearly independent, no matter what. Because this is 0, 1, even if I had 1, 0, that's linearly independent. No matter what you choose for y, as long as x is equal to 1, these two guys are linearly independent, which is what you want. So now, my capital Y sub 2, the other part of the linearity principle, turns out to equal e to the minus 3t, t times v1 plus v2. So there right there is my second part of linearity principle that will make up my general solution in the end. So if I want to write my general solution, I end up with capital Y of t is equal to k1 e to the minus 3t, 0, 1, plus k2 e to the minus 3t times t times 0, 1, plus 1, 1. Now, in class, when we did this problem, this little value of c popped up here, but we don't need it in this problem because of that 0 right there. It makes the problem slightly different. So again, try to go with the flow of the problem and try not to force it into something that you've already seen. Go with the flow. You know that if you get a single root, you find the eigenvector the normal way. You use this to find the second vector. You set up y sub 2 this way with this tv1 here. That's the same. And then your final solution will look like this. So hopefully that helps out.